they brought a big trunk. They open it up, what do you see? And it was sort of like a bundles of money or whatever, but they all like covered with black. So things. bundles of black bills. Yes, yes. Police call it the black money trick. Two huge men Two show up. Two big guys show up with a, with a crate of money. Exactly. But it's all dyed black. It's all dyed black. But the scammers have an explanation for that. As apparently they had to dye it black to smuggle it out of Africa. Exactly. And they explained to her that this money now has to be reconverted into usable money. And the only way to do that is to dip it into this very extremely expensive chemical in order to make the money legal so that you can use it. Sergeant Perez says most of the so-called money is just plain black paper. But in a magic trick fit for Houdini, he showed us how the thieves convinced Shireen that the money was real by washing a couple of select bills before her very eyes. And he cleaned two bills. And when he cleaned those bills, what was revealed? A little bit, two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollar bill. Yeah, you was real hundred dollar bill. Exactly. They hand her the money so that she can, for the first time, see and feel the money in her hands. And they go so far as to telling her, "Hey, listen, you don't have to take our word for it. Take this money and go out to the store and go spend it, so that they can really convince her that this money is so real and it's all right there." Of course, it's all a trick to get more money. The scammers use simple supplies, Elmer's glue and some iodine, to put a black coating on a couple of real bills. After it dries, the black is easy to wash off. But the thieves say they're using special chemicals, and they're very expensive. So it's another big fee to pay before you can actually spend your fortune.